Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Not For Broadcast. So the last time we were here, Advanced ended up setting off a few nukes to take over the world, and our daughter was killed in the blast. Last we checked, the Resistance should be back, but I don't know what's going to happen going forward because, well, the game decided to corrupt my save file. I tried to get most of the same choices back in play, but we ended up getting this after Bozeman's interview. So, I don't really know what's going to happen going forward. I don't know if Disrupt is going to come back. I really don't know. So, we're going to continue from this point forward, and fingers crossed, it's all good. Newspaper falls to the floor, slipping from your numb hands. The headline whirling round and round your head. This can't be true. How could this be true? Has it really been two months since that day? You find yourself back there. Rushing back home after a particularly long and stressful day at work. You're already late. But if you keep at the speed limit, there's no way you're going to hear the end of it. You could probably shave ten minutes or so off the journey if you wanted. You're going to be mad either way, no point in speeding. A little mad is better than a lot mad. Best pedal the metal. It seems everything's against you this evening. You have to stop at every traffic light, every stop sign, every junction between you and your destination. Well over 45 minutes late by the time you finally pull at the house. Only to see a betterment vehicle parked outside. Lights still flashing. What's this about? The CCOs are leading someone from your house to the van. Your son's voice calling for you. Then the door is shut and it's driving away. Spinning lights behind you as your vision starts to swim. Charlie. Now you're in the break room. People at work have started avoiding you. Some of the show's crew started giving you funny looks. Bozeman's even been micromanaging you less than usual. It's just a misunderstanding. It'll, it'll all be over soon. Charlie loved Advance. From the go-getters, the cohesion cadets, the cohesion community manager, he was on track to become. You and Sam had both gone to see him at the Betterman Center last week. As soon as you'd been able to. Even then, he'd been positive, making friends, explaining that the system was there to help people, and that he was actually able to do that while staying there too. It couldn't have just happened. That headline, five simple words in bold black tape, Disrupt Terrorist Dies in Betterment. Winston was particularly violent, attacking a Betterment mentor, died in the infirmary, after failed attempts at resuscitation, and the eternal question left unanswered. Was it his fault or yours? Oh shit. So I guess our kid tried to help a... Better man? I guess? Maybe some disrupt guy he was trying to help and the guy killed him or he killed the guy? I don't know what happened. Day 1217. Banquet for some your anniversary, and this year you've got a plan. A week away could just be what the doctor ordered for you and Sam, but it won't be cheap. More than you normally spend, but Sam's worth every penny, so let's do it. The last time you went away, it was an amazing weekend together, and this time it's going to be even better. What a better way to start it off than by going all out and cooking a nice meal from scratch. Fancy! Sam's going to love it. They should be here in a minute. Even you and Chris seem to be on the same page, for the first time in years. Maybe it's been long enough for them to forgive you, or perhaps they've decided they were unfair to ask you. But either way, you're grateful for the newfound peace. They even helped you clean up the house today, so when Sam gets back from work, it'll be pristine. You hear the keys in the lock and put the final touches in place. As Sam steps into the hallway, you're waiting in the doorway to the kitchen, dressed to the nines and acting nonchalant as possible. Alex? What? What's all this? Oh my god, did you clean? And what's that smell? They give you a quick kiss as they step past you into the kitchen, where the banquet is laid out. Candles lit, with Chris standing quietly grinning. Oh my god, Alex. Happy anniversary, Sam. Happy anniversary, Chris ex echoes. As Sam turns to you, smiling, and with tears in their eyes. Alex, it's perfect. Sam rushes over and kisses you softly only breaking off when you get a less than subtle call from Chris. Just before I leave you to it, I took the liberty of leaving another couple of bottles of champagne in the fridge. Have fun, you two. 
Chris, thank you sincerely. They smile at you and for the first time in a long time, with nothing but warmth in their eyes. My pleasure. I'll see you both around. Have a great evening. And with what they leave shutting the front door behind them, the slamming door reminds me of you of the kids. And for a moment, their absence is physically pain. Sam brings you back to the reality as they take their seat. You really didn't have to do this, Alex. I know, I wanted to. I love you, Sam. I love you, too. They breathe, admiring the Penelope of food you've prepared for them. Now, where on earth do I begin, they laugh, as you pour the first glass of champagne of the evening. It's not the last. At least, you've still got each other. Oh, fuck. Both of our kids are dead. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong last time, but man, I fucked up. Okay. I might have just lost my... Oh, wait, or did Sam lose her job? So, I'm going to go back to the previous recording, and if I've done all this already, then I'm probably just going to skip all this. Everything's ready. You and Sam have been trying to watch Bullet Man for years. But you've missed it in the cinemas, and you've never seen this stock on VHS. You hear the front door open, popcorn. Okay, yeah, so we've done this already. Yeah, so Sam lost her job. Okay. Okay, so, <laughs> so what am I done diddling even the boobs? heroines of capitalism Sophia, get to take uh, the mic to go to the movies. Name is. She, um, she committed suicide so in my previous so, run. So, what are you most looking forward to This tonight? time around, she's still alive. <laughs> party. So I don't know of what I did that but changed things, but film? she's alive right now. Oh, in so, the film? also the we had an ad from oh, uh, Crazy Neil. Again, I have no idea what day. I did differently that them, you know. made him show up, but that was something that but I'll say, uh, there was a meeting. I know, I was there. I probably called it. <laughs> Who can remember? And I was there with my science guys, the hottest geeks on the planet, by the way. And I oh, said fuck. to them, if they weren't robots, let's give them robots. <laughs> Didn't I? Sure did, Miss Remington. <laughs> but I, I thought they were computer generated. And they looked at me baffled, because there's me telling these super brainy guys to make functioning Wait, killer robots when even our best selling toys catch fire. But I said to them, so and she Remington's sold fist, killer robots anything, for a. Anything! <laughs> And then there okay. were some shots and maybe a line or two. And then when I woke up, Jean-Claude told me that the geeks had said that they were definitely going to build the goddamn killer robots like I asked. <laughs> okay, but but in the movie... Okay. And the I did what they said and I stayed away from the lab because those geeks sure like to surprise me. <laughs> but I will go in there tonight and I will see my goddamn killer robots. Do you understand me? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've Apparently actually, I've she got really wants to see those killer here. robots. The robots, the robots are not... Computer generate. And Miss Remington needs to take her seat. Thank you, Jean Claude. <laughs> Ex Special Forces. This time, you should get one. Shall I escort you in now, Miss Remington? Absolutely. The robots will be in there, won't they, Jean Claude? Of course, Miss Remington. Okay. Hey. Um, okay. Well, thank you, Sophia Remington. Gosh, <laughs> I think I got uh, a little yeah, bit of a little 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 bit of a a video recorder, it's just not the same, is it? You're right, it's better. No unevens chatting and chewing all the way through. Oh, what about a kiss and cuddle on the back row? Doesn't that happen anymore? In public? What's wrong with you? Nothing, nothing's wrong with me. Feeling better? All right, we're finally moving on to extra story. How many years has it been already? Six years, they said? All right. Day 2079, an up and come. You once again find yourself sitting in the Bozeman's office. Everything's pristine and orderly, just how the fast, tedious man likes it. Though it's rare for him to be late. He opens behind you just as you start to imagine the reason why. Winston, you're already here. Good. Well, I'll keep this brief. Both know your dedication to this role is somewhat lacking. Been here for almost six years, and in that time, check some Motown test. This doesn't really seem like a good start. You have a problem following simple and clear instructions. The prime example of this is that you played a disrupt propaganda tape a few years back. 
we're still feeling the consequences of that today. He frowns and shakes his head. Well, he knew that one would probably keep coming back to bite you. Your involvement, whether or not it could be proven in this rough attack, has not been overlooked. That night cost Channel One significantly, financially and to our reputation. You'd better believe if I had a shred of evidence. Well, we'd certainly not be talking about that. Go. Your general attitude leaves much to be desired. Never willing to go above and beyond your career role. To work the extra hours when required. Refusal to attend corporate events and functions. These things are all noticed, you know. We are going to let that go. Look, Quinston, I'm going to be blunt. I don't like you. I had my way. You'd have been out the door long ago. But now we're under public ownership. It's much harder to get rid of you without an official agreement. And so far, you've managed to skate under the line. But I want you to know I'm watching you to slip up. Now, get back to work. Well, at least you know how he really feels. I'm sure kissing uh, advances ass would have made him like us better. Not sure if there was a way I could have towed the line a little bit better to keep him liking us. Day 2303, a foregone conclusion. It's late. It's been snowing all day, and unlike everybody else, you've stayed inside as much as possible keeping warm. Normally, you'd enjoy the snow, but today it's been nothing more than near tin. Still, tomorrow, you've got that day off and might actually enjoy it. Sam always gets excited when they see snow. When they were younger, they'd always wrap the kids up and take them out to play. It's been a while since that happened, though. The new place still doesn't feel quite as cozy, especially as you can't afford to put the heating on. Sam bustles in from the cold, carrying some groceries. I could use a hand, please. Lots of stairs from here to the car. Their arms are full, and they're clearly struggling to get everything to the kitchen. But then you have been at work all day, and they've spent most of it at home as usual. Sorry, of course I'll be right there. Be nice and help. As you rush over to help them with their bags, Sam shoots you a grateful smile. I got most of it. There's just a couple left downstairs. You head out, getting most of the way to the lift before you remember it's out of order. When you grab the bags, you realize Sam has picked up everything to make fajitas your favorite food. Really, it's not all that bad. You forget the weather and the unpaid bills as you cook in your delightfully tiny kitchen. Laughing together like you used to. For the first time since moving in, you think, as Sam flicks sour cream across the table at you, you're making happy memories again. Money isn't everything. Oh, shit. Day 2340. Time for reflection. It's been over 13 years since your dad died. You visited, you visited his grave a few times since then. Normally during times of stress. Or when you're trying to figure something out. Or when you just want some peace and quiet. Today is no different. You feel Sam's hand hold onto your shoulder, giving you a reassuring squeeze. You're grateful that they're still here with you. Just having them by your side always seems to make things easier. The call of a raisin, of a raven, not a raisin. The call of a raven catches your attention as it flies away. A parent should never have to bury their children. Particularly Charlie, who never even had a chance to grow up. He had so much potential, so many dreams, so much he wanted to do. It's not fair. If only he could change it. Susie, poor Susie. What you wouldn't give to have her back even just to argue with you. She just wanted to explore the world. So curious, so full of life. Till Liberation Night, everything changed. So many lives destroyed. The relationship with Chris has always been a bit up and down. But, of late, you seem to actually be getting along. It makes a nice change and has certainly made life easier with Sam. But that's family. You got to take the good with the bad. He may be in... I'll buy expensive air home now. But it's still comforting to know your mother is around. 
even if she is barely able to recognize her anymore. Her presence is always reassuring. You could do with that now. You turn away and wander in the direction of the car. You can't control life. What happens? Who lives and who dies? All you can do is keep going. And see what gets thrown at you next. What is life? If not a series of little decisions that defy us. And we'll never know which ones would take us away. And which would bring us here. I know I fucked it up so bad, so... My bad. <laughs> Okay. So I shan't waste my breath. But you should know, we're still having a few problems with your machinery. Locked buttons, screens flickering on and off, sparks and the like. I'm sure you'll manage without issue. Oh, and don't forget, oh, you've boy. got free reign of the SFX buttons now. Perhaps you should try not to undermine the talent, though, eh? Absolutely, Cheers. thank you, sir. I promise I won't do anything fucked up. Oh yeah, I should probably turn these on. This might be the end of the game. What have you so, got, with how long these broadcasts have been, I might have to split this episode, as per no, usual. Come on, seriously. Don't even a cake. I'm sorry, no. Okay. No worries. How old are you then, Cole? Okay, here we go. Big smiles. I've actually gained a year. I celebrated 44 last year, but it's actually this year. Oh, one of my moms died. Right? Oh, and it's back. Okay, so I'm going to have to look around that. Shit. Four. Three. Good evening and welcome Spice to... Spice it up with some audience responses, Alex. What? I'm Megan and I'm joined as Audio always from by sponsors? the inimitable oh, yeah. Robin and Patrick. Hey. How are we? Well, we have got so much going on tonight. I'm excited. I'd say I'm about a 12, Megan. <laughs> on the excitement scale. Yeah, exactly. We have got so much SoCo stuff coming up. We sure do. We have celebrity chef Jordan Brankley who will be cooking up a store. Oh, yeah, this doesn't smell like propaganda. Big competition, visions of the future. And we'll be joined by a very special guest for oh. a game of Wheel of Truth. How am I supposed to switch that? We'll even be showing you how to make your own leader's day. Uh, yes, we've got all of that and so much more tonight on The Nightly Show. Don't forget wow. the okay. buttons. Let's see, disrupt. Yes, they're back. We are not just soldiers. We are doctors, scientists, and poets. We are all these types because we are you. He's back! He's finally back! No more bullshit! And unlike this channel, we will show it to you. You will hear some frightening things about this government. They are chilling. And they are true. We have the evidence. Understand this. There is something. Oh no, wrong kidding! With the food. So they're deliberately trying to, you know, fuck up the population. I'm not surprised by that. Right. Let's have some applause on the way into the next section. Paces by Chef Jordan Rankin. There you go. But first, we know you love them. They do good, both men. An update on our lovely nightly show pets in Pet Corner. Fine. <laughs> There you go, well, I, I did something. First up, we have our hamster, Lord Cheeks. Now, he's a squat winter grey with the scientific name Adipem Stultus. And he lives here with us the in hamster? this oh. cage. Hamsters love hoarding, and they actually have special so far, this is all accurate. cheeks for storing what? food. Why? He loves carrots, apples, and chewing tobacco. Now, hamsters are nocturnal, so we'll do our best not to wake him up. But let's just see if we can... Is it bad that I kind of want the hamster to bite her? <laughs> well, the door has been left open. Um, so... Um, it looks as though Lord Chinks has actually gone for a little wander, uh, but I'm sure oh, yeah, I'm he so will sure. be around here somewhere. <laughs> In the meantime, let's say hello to our tortoise. Now, oh. after last month's viewer vote, she is now, of course, called Slow Barbara. And don't panic, even though it is December, Babs here doesn't actually hibernate. I thought let's turtles hibernate. <gasps> oh, you sure she's sleeping? She might be dead. Sleeping. Oh. Babs? Turtle's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah, those it's dead. are our nightly show pets. Megan, uh. both alive and well. Back to you. Thanks, Robin. We'll check in on them. Yay. Some very similar animals at the same time. 
Oh, she's, she's dubbing the turtle. <laughs> Patrick Banning is with Chef Jordan Rankin. Oh, the poor turtle. To knock up a delicious apple pie. Mm -mm. It's time to go into the kitchen. That's right, and I'm joined here by and Chef Jordan Rankley. Welcome to the Nightly Show Kitchen. How does it compare to the kitchens you're used to? I love the colours. It's vibrant. It's fresh. Oh. It's fun about all the arseholes. Yes? Sorry? What? Yes? <laughs> so! I gotta say, she does uh, the Gordon Ramsay-esque role Gordon pretty well. You nine Ballon Massifs across your career, and you've worked alongside the best chefs in the world. Tonight you've got me. Oh, are you worried? <laughs> Am I fucking worried? Are you worried? <laughs> God damn it. Are you fucking worried? Yes. Um, so, uh, what are we making today, chef? So, we've got our family over for Leader's Day. Yeah. They're hungry. We're going to make them a delicious apple pie. Ooh, lovely. It's got sweetness. It's got the acidity of the fruit. Mm. And then you get the richness of that pastry. Incredible. Wow, OK. So, we go to hell. we start? So, we're going to start go by first. making our filling. So we've got about a kilogram of fresh cooking apples here. Mm. Fucking beautiful. And we're going to slice these up perfectly. Okay. And then and she's already got them the pre-chopped. Okay. Uh, Convenient. So, uh, your new show, uh, Demon Kitchen Heart Eater, starts on Friday here on Channel One. So, tell us about that. <laughs> so, teams of young chefs come into my kitchen, yeah. and one by one I destroy them emotionally. And if there's time, I teach them some basic knife skills. <laughs> Fuck me, Patrick. What are you doing? That's still Patrick? What? <laughs> Shit. Is that how you cut? Fuck, you'll lose a fucking finger. Ooh. Don't worry, I've got spares. <laughs> right, That's still the so, same actress uh, that was playing as Patrick. That, Did they get somebody we, uh, else? Set these aside whilst we make the pastry. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Boom. Yeah? Okay. Sugar. Butter. Yep. We mix that together and then. A whole egg. I'm actually wondering if this is a legit. Oh wait, no, she literally just dropped in an egg. What are you doing, you fucking? <laughs> she donkey. called her donkey. Brains <laughs> the size of that fucking egg. Oh, oh no, chef. God. No. Shit. Right. Mix up. She does it well. She does it well. Okay? I'll give it credit. Well, nice I'll dough, give her credit. Like yeah, that. I can't speak. So, uh, what does the notoriously fierce Jordan Rankley do to unwind? <laughs> Shit, the bed. Yeah. What's that? What is that? Well, it's, it's a bit, bit lumpy. Lumpy? I... It could fucking pass for a sack of spuds. <laughs> Touch that. Touch it. Oh. Yeah? Pathetic. That goes into chill. Now, we're mixing our filling. Okay. Apples, sugar, yes. cinnamon. Mm. Oh, so, uh... Oh, you own six restaurants across five territories. She is losing all patience. Which is your favourite? Are you mixing that or fucking it? What? <laughs> Are you going to light a candle? Take it out to dinner? Fucking mix it for God fuck's damn. sake. damn. Right, now we're rolling out two thirds of our pastry. Oh God. Um, Bit of flour into the dish. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the filling goes next, right? Absolutely right. Oh, Lovely. Then we're taking the remaining pastry. Oh shit, 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 shit. There we go. And that's on good. top. Beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Okay. Right. Wash a bit of water around the rim. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Now press gently all the way around. And we're cutting five. Well, is she making it get a pie? With steam. <laughs> and then brushing the whole thing with a beaten egg. It looks like a mishmash okay. of okay. madness. Oh. Oh, I'm waiting for the explosion. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my god. You, you, come here. Come here, you. That's a disgrace. I'd rather jam my eyes <laughs> up my fucking ass than look at that. I'd rather use my tongue to tie my shoes after for fucking shit. Oh god. Contest, do you understand? Then it goes in the oven for 45 minutes. Oh, get your fucking <laughs> head in the oven while you're at it. Useless. <laughs> you. Come here, you. You're the worst fucking thing to happen to food to <laughs> cyanide. Do you know that? I tell you what. Oh my god, yes. Fuck yes. Off. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck off. Yes, okay, well, while I do that, <laughs> let's go now oh my god. to Megan. Yeah, she did good. I'll give her Robin, credit. She did it good. announcing the winners of our competition. 
Visions of the future! A bit more audience reaction would be nice, Alex. I would like to give more audience well, reaction, but uh, go fuck yourself. If you want to follow along at home, then make sure you write in with a stamped address envelope and we'll send you the fact sheet. So, Robin, look at all these amazing entries oh to the boy. Vision of the Future competition. Yes, we challenged you to show us your predictions of the future. We were just inundated with entries, weren't we, Megan? From wacky inventions to global problem solving, they are all amazing and we had the best time looking through each one. It was so tough narrowing it all down. So we have some amazing runners up. In third place, drum roll, oh, please. Okay. <laughs> we have Hamish. Who's the hell is that? The Lungwelly. <laughs> he calls this still oh, life. Oh god, that looks like god. And evil. And blow us away. Just look at the line work here. And I can really feel every passionate stroke of the brush. Mm. If you look here, you'll see a beautifully rendered, what I thought at first, oh, it looks like a face or murder scene. Cat. But I think if you really look, you'll see it's actually a representation of the seeming future. What? Death through the Where did you get that impression? He's also chosen to just. I think this is somebody who needs psychological help. I think it's really interesting. If you know Hamish and his work, of course he he loves focusing on the negative space okay. rather than the image itself. Stunning, absolutely stunning, and such talent from one so young, Megan. But. Next up, we have our second place entry. So, in second, drum roll, please. We have. What the hell is that? 41 from dead? Dunglees. Yeah, Keith, we were sort of aimless towards our younger viewers, but still, he has sent in his idea of the future, which he's called okay. Ravaged Earth. Indeed, he says, and he's really rather detailed notes um deprived of basic resources society will resort to a brutal system of weekly battles to the death where only the victim that's about right breed. <laughs> he also says at the bottom here either that or about the same close man are you happy you i'm pressing buttons you can see the sort of gladiatorial arena and then what i can only assume is keith himself pulling off this chap's head and shouting um Come back to me, Linda! <laughs> oh, he pulled somebody's head. Oh, Maybe God. if you spent more time outdoors and less time entering children's competitions, she might not have left. <laughs> <laughs> a special one there. And yeah. finally, of course, it's time to reveal our winner. All our runners-up will receive a day out at an inflatable happy land on an industrial state just off the A40. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, Keith. <laughs> but our lucky winner will win the chance to spend the day at the Department of Change to see how our teammates are okay, actually... Okay, not liking me. Reality. And the winner is, oh. drum roll please. <laughs> and it's Tada! It's Yay! Yay, more disrupt! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you. <laughs> I, about Peter Fleming. I didn't like him much. I thought his Man of the People act was just that. An act. But in the six years since he's been gone, I started to wonder if he was the only thing keeping the brakes on the team. And I'm wondering if Julius Oldsley realizes that. When she reflects once, on his power. Once he died, she took absolute power. And worse. That she knew all along. Because then, of course, it's not reflection. Dance, oh. getting involved in the party. Aren't they? This one seems to have gone a bit haywire. <laughs> in what I can only assume is an the ominous is sign of things to come. Lovely, Lola. Okay. Well, if our winners have inspired you to make some artwork of your own, do keep sending them in. And yours could be displayed in our gallery here. Well done again to everyone who took part. We're going to take a break now, but when we come back, we'll be playing the Wheel of Truth uh -huh. and making some lovely homemade gifts. Don't go away. Yay, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you did, oh. but it's definitely made things worse down there, Winston. Probably going to be Why? a bit more difficult for you in this segment. Ah, what's the point? You understand? Hey! Our boss is giving us free will. Why are you both getting home tonight? I usually walk. My flat's not far from here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the bus. Not tonight. I'll get cars arranged for you both. Find me when you're done, and I'll take you out through the um, loading bay. The lady doing the news, why does she... Th not the news, the uh, weather report. Why does she look familiar? <gasps> Wait, I know her! I know her! She's the crazy fucking uh, future bitch! The one that was reading the future! That's who she is! Oh my god, they definitely do reuse actors.
All right, and we're alive. It's playing havoc with the sound. It's bad out eh? there. We're being stretched again. I've had to use a high pass. It's being filter. stretched. It's oh. a revolution, Colin. They're revolting. You are sent. Disrupt his back. <sighs> Jenny, Jenny, where's Glyn? Can we get him out here? I'm not sure about this grandma one. Oh, he's writing with our other guest at the moment. But I just wouldn't say grandma. Grandmother? Yes. Grandmother's arsehole. That's much better. Oh, oh, okay, everyone, if I could have your attention, please. Sarah just needs a word. Apparently, there's been some sort of disturbance near the studio. Now, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I wanted to let you know that I've asked for extra security, and they're already on their way. Oh, my God, so Disrupt is back. Okay. They're not in only back, but they're attacking the, the station. <gasps> they're finally back! back. Laughing. Let's get rid of this five, corrupt fuck whole four, government. Yay! Three. Oh, button broke <laughs> <laughs> yes. Has the audience gone to sleep? Fuck you, Bozeman. You, you said do whatever I want. Fuck you. I'm doing what I want. I don't know. I think I could wait. <laughs> well, here it is. Brush out the oven. Oh. <laughs> well, it looks like that's shit. Amazing, Jordan. How does that Patrick do? Well, let's just say that pie got the crust <laughs> of my grandmother's arsehole. Oh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Well, thank you for that. Well, come on, try it. Dig in. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Who's having stomach ulcers tonight? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. And a little glass of cup for corroborating. <laughs> but now you better go and get ready for that next feature. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every night we oh play boy. a game of Wheel of Truth with our celebrity guests. But I know what you're thinking. Uh, Megan, we've only got one celeb guest. <laughs> we'll observe you as well observed. Well then, I better bring her out. He's well, getting pissed drunk. He's so done. He gives zero fuck. I mean, she's only the blooming team leader. It's Jenny. Yay! Yay. Uh, corrupt dictator. Oh, welcome, Julia. Darling, well, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Megan, you look incredible. Oh, stop it. I was just about to say the same thing. Now, don't get too comfortable. It's time to head over to Robin and Patrick as we play Wheel of Truth. Spice it up with I some am, more fuck you. responses, Alex. That's right, it's that part of the show where we pit our celebs against each other to see if we can break them. That's right, Robin. They're gonna spin the wheel to pick around, and it could be anything from box of flies to slap my face. <laughs> they really have no idea Lovely. what's in store. So, up first, we have Jordan. Oh. Let's give it a spin. Am I doing good? Oh. Why are they reusing? I mean, I guess they're all part of the show, so it's like they're gonna just use people they have on here. Oh, Granted, this is all okay. government Let's approved, so what makes you've sense. Landed on. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's oh. fact or fib. Fact or fib. Jordan, is it true that you've been known to order takeaway for a dinner party <laughs> and pass it off as your own cooking? Fuck. <laughs> one fucking time. <laughs> one time. Well, I think if that pie was anything to go by, you did them a favour. Oh, oh, not so fast there, Julia. Fact or fib. Fact or fib. We've heard of saving time what? during the laundry. Oh, my God! <laughs> Why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> absolutely... No, no. Yes! <laughs> what this shit? Okay, what the... Okay, what the... Once, we fought and died for the right to an informed choice. We had journalists we could trust, so we made decisions for the common good. Then we took it for granted. And now... Now we right. bread and circuses. So eat your sandwiches and enjoy your clowns. While you can. <laughs> I can't oh, There we go. No! <laughs> no! Honestly, raise my taxes. We're clearly not paying you enough. Come to my dressing room after the show. We'll sort you out. Oh, are you blushing, Patrick? Is all this talk of bras embarrassing you? I'm blushing. I mean, I'm not blushing. I'm so lost as to what the fuck is going on. I was just more interested in the truck. The bloody wheel. <laughs> okay, what is it? What, what are we pulling? Here? What bullshit are we pulling out of our rear end? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it's guess that. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, whose face is it gonna be? We have to get that face. Okay, you ready? Here we go, Julia. Oh, who's that? Oh my god. <laughs> 
fuck is that? Oh, yes! Oh. Look, look, it was a very difficult time fashion-wise. Oh, no, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, no, don't. I think it's sweet. <laughs> and Molly, is this popular now? Is it ever been? Oh, well, don't get too ahead of yourself. That was back yeah. when she was a child, before she was a dictator. Oh. Who? Oh. Is oh. this? Does that look familiar at all? Oh, wow! <laughs> Fashion advice from someone who managed oh. to make seven look like 85. Oh. <laughs> God damn, Bozeman is getting pissed. Haunting the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear him. He's just, he's just, he's pouring one out for himself, one out for the homies, one for the oh, government. Man, everyone's getting a shot tonight, but it's all going to the same place. It's my go time, you go on, sorry, I'm so What is it? It's going so much. Oh, well, you're in for a treat, yeah? It's fat what? or fish. Oh, my God. How is <laughs> okay. okay, if you look under your podiums, you will find a lovely fish smoothie. Oh. What is this, Fear Factor? Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and all you have to do is answer it honestly, or else you'll have to drink the smoothie. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay, okay. Are you ready for the yes, question? Yes, yes. Here we go. Yeah. Which of your esteemed hosts <laughs> is the more talented one? <laughs> oh, oh, what a cop out! No. Oh, God. Oh, 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 how is it? How is it? I mean, <laughs> oh, we made it extra fishy. <laughs> I need my fucking mouth. Do you know how much these taste buds are worth? Oh, well, fuck. we've got time for one more Just quick one more. spin. So go to be fair, though, go. her trying to beat Gordon Ramsay. Oh. If Ramsey's taste buzz are that important, he'd be like, fuck it. Yeah. I I'm throwing some poor bastard under the bus. Oh boy, what did we get? What did we win? Okay, so, oh, Julia, take a look in that box under your desk there. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> it's the hamster. Oh, your ass is going to a gulag tonight. Oh, somebody oh, is going to a gulag tonight. That box is not, it's not cheese, <laughs> is it? Another one, Mr. Bozeman. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Bozeman. Balls. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? Well, give it a go for us. <laughs> but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Oh, come on. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, this rip for you guys. Come on, come on. So impressive. I Wait, something's say, happening over here? Unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. No. Gosh, that was our game of Wheel of Truth. And my well, God, she's like, wasn't that fun? Oh, oh, anyway. That hit the spot. But now it's time to head over to Megan in Crafty Corner. With SFX, less is more, Alex. Right, oh, so less effects, okay. Corner, where today I'm going to be ably assisted by Julia. Come on over here. Goodness me, I don't know how you're keeping your dinner down. I can still smell that fish. <laughs> well, to be honest, I've had worse. I used to be to Peter Clement's house. Oh, well, I hope you've got your artsy hat on because today we're going to be making something very close to my heart. It's our little studio. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? Oh. All of us there on the sofa. Wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, is that all you in there? Yeah, it is. If we can just get a little zoom in. There we are. Oh, I don't know about you, Julia, but I always leave my holiday shopping to the last Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> everyone does that. I do it every year. And then well, luckily, these make guys like me are sitting behind the register wondering, why the fuck are you in my store on Christmas Eve? Amazon! It's a thing! Use it! Front panel here. Perfect. <laughs> we'll do. Are you big celebrators in your house, Julia? Oh, yes. Yeah. No, in my house, we show our love through food, like big dinners, loads of drinks. Absolutely right. That's the best bit about any holiday. It's all that food. This bit as well. Absolutely right. Cutting along the line there. Do be careful with the scissors at home. Make sure you're being supervised <laughs> it's a bit if tough. you are a child. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Fabulous. There we go. OK, so it's going to look a little something like this. And I've got one here I made earlier. We painted it with a bit of poster paint, white to match our lovely curtains here in the studio. But you can obviously have whichever backdrop you like. Like a nice shiny gold number. Well, exactly right. So we're going to make 
bits of our set now to put in the studio, perhaps a little desk. So I'm just going to grab this piece of card. I've just got it from a little cereal box. I'm actually I'm curious here, what cereal box oh, they actually use because it's definitely a real so cereal box if you look at the back of it. It's just I'm wondering what they, what the developers Fabulous. use for this. So what's the best part of any Leaders Day dinner, do you reckon? Oh, uh, I don't even Maybe have to think it? about it. Really? I love the three potato pie. There's some kind of... Three, three potato pie, I don't back know that one. You know, with the chips covered in the mash or wrapped up in a yeah, jacket potato. I just, I, just need I just need it better. <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds starchy. <laughs> well done, Julia. So now she's folding over a little bit there. What it's going to look like at the end is this little rectangular shape there. And we're going to pop it in the middle. Bit of sticky tape on the back there so it sticks down. Now we need a sofa. That's what we need next. We're going to oh. make that out of a lovely paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun down there. <laughs> Knocking it all over. <laughs> I've got one though, Megan. Good. Fantastic. Fuck it, Bosman is so exactly pissed right. drunk. It's hilarious. And we've done that around the bottom and again what? Why? around Why? the Why? Why? Why do you like? Okay. Well done. When you're done. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's going to look a little something like this. I can't lie, this is actually I've a cute there. idea. I've stuck some felt down. Nice and comfortable sofas. <laughs> yes, can't have our tiny Megan having an uncomfortable sofa, can well, we? Absolutely not. <laughs> She'll be on the phone to her tiny agent and getting someone tiny fired. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only one thing missing, isn't there, Julia? What is that? Oh, a higher calibre of guests. <laughs> Nearly, it's people. <laughs> so, is this all me? we've done to make oh, our okay, little people is we've stuck a cocktail stick into a bottle cap. Mm, we just need a face for that now. Ah, I've got a good one here. I know it well. <laughs> it's me. Lovely. I'm going to stick it down there. A little bit of sticky tape. Oh, my felt's going everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm a bit lonely. Let's take Robin and Patrick over. Do, 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 do. Sitting down on the couch over there. There you go. And, and well, well, I'll make myself just comfortable. Wow, I just pushed her right just over. There. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and these, of Love. course, are well, made. Julia actually pushed her into the corner. Scenes, so you can have any guests you like. Julia, is there anyone else you'd like oh. in the studio? Oh, yes. Well, well, I'm going to be playing Wheel of Truth with yeah. Ronnie from Heat Trash. Nice. Yes, Why? Yes, but that's um, Yes, he's going to be teaching me choreography, and I'll be teaching him foreign policy mm, and of course you can decorate them however you want perhaps you're a bit i don't know nostalgic for the old look of our studio we've got the blue studio down there or even a bit of retro red <laughs> i've got sheila quickstep being interviewed oh there by... oh um sorry that's that's not supposed to be <laughs> oh mama that's <laughs> yeah, it's been on dude <laughs> it's time for a break when we come back, I'll be on the couch of chat talking to some of you, and I just cannot wait. We'll be back after these messages. And we're out. You know what, Winston? I think I finally understand your disdain for this job, this place. Looking at this farce, what's the point? Why are we even bothering? Wow, he's on our side? Oh god, look at her bullshit. Should we be worried? We've got the Prime Minister here. It's good that she's here. She's the reason for the extra security. Are we gonna need it? Possibly. They're back. It's not very reassuring. I know. Good thing I'm not your mum, right? This rub's back! But, ladies and gents, I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm gonna hopefully wrap it up next episode. We're almost there, I think. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to help out the channel, any activity left on these videos helps out tremendously. It keeps the channel alive and keeps YouTube pumping us out onto the algorithm. And I do appreciate the help. And if you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for our Discord. Hit the bell icon, subscribe for more, like it if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. And I'll see you all around the next one. Thank you everybody so much, and have an absolutely fantastic night.